what is the height of ridiculousness? What What is the... <laughs> and there's so many these days, I literally can't keep up. But, oh my word, this one just made me just shake my head and close my eyes and think, you know what? No, it, it's so controlled. It is so planned. You cannot, even in the world we're living in now, with the craziness and the madness infecting minds and hearts and souls everywhere, you cannot tell me the people in control are this stupid or blasé about something. This is planned. Taliban gets $239 million in aid after failure of State Department vetting. Really? Maybe I should apply for something then at the State Department because they might fail and then the ministry is boom, flush with millions of dollars. And we can maybe put those millions of dollars right back where it belongs in Americans' pockets that are struggling right now. It is insanity. The Islamic extremist Taliban received $239 million in US aid aimed at, get this, are you sitting? Counterterrorism. <laughs> Not only did they fail this, they gave it to them under the guise of counterterrorism. Oh, guys, we've got to give some money to counterterrorism. Who have we got? Oh, we've got the Taliban. They're terrorists. They'll know what to do with the money. Here you go, guys. You're terrorists. Please counter. The government watchdog, the Special Inspector General for Afghanistan Reconstruction, Cigar, like <laughs> Cigar, issued a July 2024 report identifying 29 grants where the Taliban may have erroneously received counterterrorism funds. Not only did they mess this up once, they messed this up 29 times. There's no way this is an oopsie. Cigar investigators found that the State Department failed to comply with their own counterterrorism partner vetting requirements in Afghanistan. The funds came from State Department divisions called democracy, something Afghanistan doesn't have, human rights that they don't have, and labor. And international narcotics and law enforcement affairs. Oh my word. The Cigar report identified more than two dozen instances where these divisions failed to keep vetting records proper. This is not an oopsie. This is not a failure. This is planned. You gave $239 million to the Taliban for counter-terrorism. Maybe we should have counter-homelessness and then take millions of dollars and give it to the homeless in America so that they can get back on their feet. How about that? No, it's just, it's so twisted and evil. And then it gets swept under the rug and moved apart. This story will be unknown and missing by the end of this week and the world will get on with everything forgetting about this 239 million dollars that should have been used in places where it was desperately needed the thing that people keep forgetting is god sees all of this people will be standing before the most high god very shortly and having to talk about these things that they have done God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.